So I'm Sam, uh, Sam Crook, I'm the Jiu Jitsu coach here at the Foundation in Bati. Um, I've been here since July 2019 and yeah, been working the kids program from basically nothing, no one was training Jiu Jitsu when we came here. We started with four kids and now we have more, more than 100 on the register but about 30 of those are training regularly. Obviously, the kids in, in African kids in general are much more athletic than European kids, mostly from the, the environment that they're brought up in. You know, a lot of them are working from a young age, from seven, eight years old, even younger sometimes, um, working on the farm, working um, in a sand mine, in, in the case of the village here. Um, so they're physically much more strong, much more, um, I guess, physically aware and with better coordination than your average European or American kid. So yeah, the goal, the long, or one of the long-term goals here is to give the kids the opportunity to travel abroad, uh, compete, make a career as a martial arts athlete, whether that's in MMA, whether that's in Jiu-Jitsu or, or whatsoever. For my part, it's helping with Jiu-Jitsu. Um, so we want to give them the chance to you know, get to a level, uh, have the same kind of opportunity that Western kids would have. So if they choose to become an athlete or maybe even a coach, they want to open their own kind of place. They have the training here that they need to reach to reach the level. Despite starting 2019, the actual training time that we've had on the mats here doing jiu-jitsu equals about one year so far. So for that amount of time in training, the level is super good. Um, I'm super happy with the, the progress the kids are making and I couldn't ask for them to be any better at this point in time, but jiu-jitsu takes time to learn. It's going, you know, before you can get to the higher level, it's going to be a few years. Um, but I'm, I'm confident that we'll get there. With MMA, of course, we, we still need other coaches to come here, other professional coaches that can help with um, striking, wrestling and things like that. They can you know, add to the MMA game for the, for the adults. But yeah, with time for sure, if you think the level that Francis has managed to achieve, starting at a late age, not, well, you know, in his 20s, before he even started training any kind of martial arts, basically. Um, and now the kids here, they're training from eight, nine years old. So if the, by the time they get to the age where he started martial arts, they're already going to have like an insane technical level. So they're going to be much more well equipped to, you know, do what he wanted to do as a kid. So they'll, they'll already be um, in, in a good place to start their career by the time they, they reach adulthood.